Okay, uh, today uh, we'll begin. Good morning to all students. See, we were about to <coughs> start the uh, different software lifecycle models, development models, right? Like a classical water model, iterative water model, prototyping model, evolutionary model, all those things we were supposed to start. But if you look at the, what is that we have done in the last class? If you look at the in-class question bank, okay, your CR has recorded all these things. This is where question number 27 we stopped. We are about to get into. List and explain software life cycle models. What is the difference between software engineering and computer science? What is the difference between software and system engineering? What is software engineering? What is software? These are all theoretical aspects, right? But look at the some of the things. Study the various organization that, okay, uh, and uh, organizations and that proposes a quality attribute of a software product. Study that one and list it. The important thing is the one it is a we made bold. What is testability? Explain the C program. How do you write testable code? How differently it can be done in object oriented programming language paradigm. So this is okay. The kind of things experience that you have to get it. The other non-bold things are routine theoretical kind of things. Look at the question number 19. Assume that you have developed a mobile application and deployed on several client mobiles. As a software engineer, propose a rollback strategy of your mobile application product. How you'd like to roll back whatever that is released in the market. So these things play a very important role. Concept, develop your mind, okay, thought process in this line. So this is about the in class question bank okay it will continue uh this now let's uh, get into okay today's business if you have any questions doubt anytime put it in a chat box right you need not wait till end and uh, we will get into as an man ashish ask me a question so hello yes uh, sir mm. the, there was a question about assignment for sir uh we wanted to know the answer for it Mm, one minute. assignment four in uh, software engineering Google class. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one minute. I'll close this. One minute. Just a minute. I will wait for that. Wait. Uh, one, oh, it is here. I'm sorry. I why I did it. Yes. Mm, one minute. Um, assignment number four. When you look at assignment number list, the possible software. See, this is. Uh, one minute. I'll tell you about this. Wait. The assignment number four speaks about the list the possible software tools available for product development engineering or process engineering and describe the feature in your own words. These are theoretical things. This is ahead of time that things have been given to you. Can you just make in your free time like a search in a YouTube, I mean, not uh, uh, in internet, and try to look into what all the tools available for various activities of uh, software product development that's all search internet that's what okay the instruction given is search internet right is ahead of time please wait as and when we get into uh, different chapters and all different tools we will mention about that but can you right now make few lists on your own can i develop a prototyping a prototypes Tools are available, requirement engineering tools are available, version control tools are available, testing to what are the tools available, right? Then GUI development, any tools available and all, right? Uh, and project management, any tools available, software cost estimation, any tool available. This is ahead of time. Okay, this question is asked. Okay, just look ahead of time. Are you getting it? So I uh, hope you understood all about this. Right? Shall I get into the next part of this? Shall I get into uh, this? Yes. So, sir, we have um, uh, submitted um, quite a lot of PDFs on uh, assignment three and four because 
the yeah. uh, due date was 5th of september yeah you should submit you should submit it see you should submit it okay got it <clears throat> okay shall i go to the next class now yeah yes yeah okay see we were talking about the okay software product development psych models what all the model that we use and why do we go for that are they relevant today and all these things right in that the, there are many things one is a classical waterfall model you have to refer even okay your textbook also please remember a textbook every page of the textbook right you have a summer well any addition is all right okay please go through that one and okay uh, whatever the things are given get into see we have a classical waterfall model then you have evolutionary development formal system development reuse based development iterative prototype okay model uh, prototyping evolutionary spiral model there are many things that we talk about that so we'll see that one uh, what all the features of all these things and definitely you'll have a question already noted in your in class question okay bank the first one we will get into so it is something called as a waterfall model right what all the features of that one what all the stages involved in that now look at this so you have a feasibility study you have got a requirement analysis and specification you have a design you have got a coding and unit testing you have got integration and system testing you have got maintenance all these phases are there irrespective of the model that whatever we follow but why it is called as a waterfall model what all the features of that and what exactly each one of that that you look into basically this waterfall model is being used when problem is simple right well understood right there are no uh, unambiguities in that one there are no frequent changes and all right there are no uncertainties and all there are no unknown things and all right then everything is predefined within your control usually it is small in size and requirement do not change right so what you do is you go to one phase for example requirement analysis and specification you freeze it then go to the design when you go to the design you do not okay go back to the previous things that means there are no changes as such okay there are no changes as such it is again a mindset it is a concept of a software development so when it is a small well defined no changes and all much right uh, you freeze and go to the next one there is no way that you can go back and undo in your previous phases whatever that you have done in such circumstances you go for waterfall model it is a classical waterfall model and probably uh, today people are talking about a lot of advanced things like that people are talking about the pair programming people are talking about extreme programming people are talking about the agile practices and all iterative model people look into that one all that okay we go through all these things but now let's look at the uh, textbook version before that we try to understand uh, what are the different okay phases mentioned here feasibility study what do you mean by that see when you take up a task it could be anything it could be outing it could it could be going to the movie again okay, a group of around 100 students and all so first thing you look into that 100 student when we get into is it feasible right what kind of feasibility you need feasibility of talking to all the people okay over a phone conference doing that that is a technological feasibility you need to have a feasibility of that all 100 you should get the tickets and all so you need to talk with the uh, the owner of the theater and try to arrange that one so you need to look at the feasibility of okay uh, transportation how 100 people because you want to go together right so how you go but when you go together right uh, probably uh, you create a noise and all probably you may get disturbances from a society people colony different colony society and all right okay how do you manage that one right so okay uh, maybe a societal feasibility right so there are okay when we look at the product development okay one of the most important thing is about the okay uh, technical feasibility all technology relevant required for that they are available do you are selected right available second one is financial feasibility you project i mean you uh, you propose that something okay around 1000 crores of worth product right you propose that but is it that your ideation it is the idea whatever you have created right is it feasible financially technical feasibility financial feasibility operational feasibility of course right so you develop everything and technical feasibility when i say that one the my proposal is that one you design a vehicle which will take in one second on the moon is it technically possible technology that is available 
right then assume that things are available which is around okay uh, uh, 20 lakh thousand crore worth but the company for whom you have proposed that one they said that one no financially it may not be possible maybe over next 20 years we can invest 20 lakh thousand crores but in this year we'll invest only 1000 crores right so how do you go about that right so operation technical feasibility financial feasibility operational feasibility societal feasibility there are many projects okay that faces an opposition from the society right maybe in terms of health health hazards and many other things people oppose that you do not set up a project okay product i mean develop that particular product or establish a company okay this one industry nearby you need to look into that one or there may be uh, some features of the product which maybe may not be good for the children and all these things in that case anything you release that one you get a opposition from the society saying that such a product is may not be good for the family setup and all these things right so uh, uh, ashish you can note down right uh, the way the uh, what do you mean by feasibility list and explain the various feasibility study to be done okay as an activity for okay the initial stage of uh, product development right or you can say list and explain the various feasibility study right give an example illustrate list and explain with example the various feasibility study that needs to be carried out you write this List and explain with the example the various feasibility study that need to be carried out, right, for the product development, right. So as it is rightly being said, okay, you perform the study to determine whether it would be okay feasible to develop a product from different angles. The different angles could be, tech, I told you, technical, financial, operational, societal, right. You can keep on adding multiple things. Right. So when you people also do a project, you keep this all in mind. Okay. Now, when you talk about this is again ahead of time, we are talking. This is the introductory chapter. So we are getting in deep. Okay. In depth, we'll study about requirement engineering, requirement analysis. Basically, what is that you do? You need to collect what exactly. Okay. Are the what are the requirements for the given product? What are the features that makes a product? You need to interact with the different stakeholders of that. Right, collect their input and then okay, prepare a report. That's what we call system requirement specification. Right. So it includes when I talk about what all you need. Okay, it includes okay about the how exactly the product should function. We call it the functional requirements. Then okay, there are many things which are non-functional. Say, assume that I'm your client. I say I give an assignment to you, and then I say that when it should be developed in Java only. Though you are good in Python, I say it is a requirement, my requirement, right? Sometimes I'll say that one, right? Uh, whenever you submit, with you fill the information and submit it, right? I wanted the response to be within two seconds. No matter what is that, what technology you are using, how you are developing, I don't care. Okay, now this is nothing to giving a response is a functional requirement. But whereas, how do that functional requirement should behave and all? that is right okay non-functional requirement right now look into that one i'll say that one entire thing is to be developed in deployed in okay, linux environment the operating system used is linux right this is the tool and i'll say that whenever you declare a variable the variable should begin with sdm underscore then other okay from uh, rules regulations or whatever that you establish that is my requirement these are all constitute a non functional Please try to differentiate, right? Uh, Ashish, you cannot do right? Okay. Uh, explain, for example, the functional and non-functional requirements. Or you can write, uh, Ashish, you can write, prepare a particular business scenario of product development. Prepare a particular business scenario of a product development and explain the functional and non-functional requirement uh, of that particular scene. Ashish, hope you have recorded that. Ashish, you are recorded? Yes, sir. Uh, I am writing function, functional and non-functional. 
right all questions are separate you write it or are different flavors okay list and explain the functional and non functional requirements second question is prepare a business scenario prepare a business scenario right and explain the functional non functional requirement captured in that particular scenario okay now uh, having got the requirement specification simple example i'll tell you right one of the requirement is it should have a, okay the security in terms of okay uh, user authentication right the user authentication right i'll say that one it should be otp based the user authentication right and whenever login fails okay it should allow the user to try three times log a user name and password entry along with okay otp authentication three times you try and if three times okay if the in all the okay try if the user fail to log in then it should be barred that on that particular username or the combination of a username password whatever may be the right it should be okay barred for 24 hours okay they are not permitted to log in Uh, subsequently or simply end of use case end of that function a screen will terminate and go to the initial screen so what is that you wanted this is all okay functional requirement how do my okay product function at user login and password entry level similarly right it should compute something and show the report in a particular way only got it it is a the requirements about how do you gather the input what all the input how do you report output what all the kind of reporting and how do you compute okay it should compute it should compute grade grades are s a b that's all got it yes ranging from this a ranging from this to this b ranging from this to this right so this is the computation how okay report card is to be grade card is to be printed Okay, is is it in a portrait mode model or landscape model? Yeah. What all the okay attributes about a, a student should get into that particular report? So all that you how to el okay elaborate that in detail like a stories, right? I will explain about this story how requirements are to be written, right? Wait for that. Okay, probably uh, you uh, I think it is the right time I should take you to the uh, Google Classroom. i uh, added that i'll show i'll show you sample study okay uh, one minute sample question paper syllabus copy sample abstract detailed essays yeah i think problem statement both i will open it and show it now look at this yeah uh, right uh, how written here abstract essays software requirement specification uh, uh, there are diff three different okay things this is for your study Now look into that. How do it go? This is a small okay thing that which we have prepared, right? Now look at that. Project synopsis. How do you give your initial synopsis? Project title, project group, project objectives, project outcome. Now look look at the project scope. It speaks about okay my uh, uh, some of the requirements. architecture web enabled system use mvc and other design as applicable but it cannot be weak like this is a web enabled system using model view controller now this could be one of the requirements also right but this is how this is this, this doesn't speak about the functionality right credit debit withdrawal these are all functionality right for example now look at that product feature okay uh data management backup and recovery okay sms and email alerts i want email alert this is one of the functional requirements i want the backup and recovery it is one of the okay uh, uh functional requirements now look at that i wanted a development environment it should be developed in servlet gsp okay oracle 11 right or db2 this is non functional it doesn't speak about the product functionality what okay functions services product provides that is called functionality addition deletion withdrawal credit money transfer all these are functionality 
but whereas okay system to be developed you okay using oracle 11 this is not the functionality of the product they are called non functional this is the vague initial things as to, okay given it here right you can go through about that now they are all sample uh, okay one should not take that that is the best thing here are the requirement specifications now format right it's been given please go through that now look at that okay user characteristics okay uh, now look at that here rooms okay this okay wait wait okay input file it contains information about the uh, one minute i'll zoom that Con the input file too contains information about the course being offered for each course it specify the course number expected enrollment and given the input right output one the the schedule specifying the class number and time of all the okay schedulable courses schedulable uh, the schedule should be a table having a lecture time on the x-axis and classroom numbers on the y-axis now look at that this is the kind of an output that i wanted for this input just a sample right so this is one of the functional requirements it should produce a report and report should contain these things you need to describe in totality are you getting it so sample okay kind of uh, uh, your what is called as a, a requirement specification document as a part of case study one is being given you need to go through about this that will enable you okay to better report the project activity whatever you do for example look at that error message at the minimum the following error messages are to be given input file does not exist input file one has error the the course number okay has wrong format some okay lecture time was wrong this is a kind of an input i mean this is a kind of error things it should report it a product should report error in a particular format now look at that functional requirement it is being said determine the time and room number of the course such that following constraints are satisfied the input file is this output is schedule this is one of my functional requirement f1 you can call it the f1 f2 f3 now f2 functional requirement 2 produce a list of all courses that could not be scheduled that means these are all problem statements kind of things sub problem statements so when you go for design when you write a program when you show that your product is correct you have to show all this f1 functional requirement number one show it you should test this that it produces taking this input producing this output it produces or not right it doesn't end here schedule how does the schedule looks what should be the format of the report everything is to be mentioned so it's as detailed as writing a big essay it is not like a small thing like your program that's how okay the program and the software product they are different right yesterday we have seen it so i have given one example right performance criteria for input file 2 containing 20 courses and up to 5 preference for each course the reports should be printed in less than one minute 4.4 now look at that all the performance he has put it is a part of the okay function requirement it can be put as a non function requirement it speaks about the behavioral aspects design constraints look into that the system is to run under the unix operating system hardware constraint the system will run on workstation with 256 mb ram minimum running unix it will be connected to 8 page per minute printer acceptance criteria look at that before accepting the system the developer must demonstrate that system works on the okay, course data for at least four semesters developer will have to show through test cases that all conditions are satisfied test cases in the sense sample input output you give an input and particular output you have to get it to uh, ensure, to declare that one of the functional requirement is being requirement is being taken care this is one case study so i have given all the things okay there are three are given please go through that right this is how the materials will be made available now look at the problem statement i'll show you 
how the problem okay uh, uh, there are two things case study one case study two now look at the okay one of the problem statement please read in that how user interface is being written right i will show you i quickly will go through that okay i'll show you one minute ha ah, look at that now this is what i wanted to tell you see a simple login login is a use case every functionality we refer it as a use case ashish note down what is use case right now look at that login in that we write in this particular format brief description this use case describe how a user logs into the course registration system you must write it you cannot say that when i know it now login is for this purpose only why should i write it no you must record everything and this will go as a report the flow of events a login right uh, let me okay share with you let me share with you by taking this as a, a screen where i can scribble something on this right now look at that okay here i'll be using it as a whiteboard now my login successful login is this flow right i provide username i provide password i get otp i acknowledge that one right and i okay got okay i got into the system but it may so happen that my username is wrong and my use case may terminate my username is correct password is wrong due to password wrong it may get terminated Now look at that again. I said from the beginning, my username is correct, password is correct, OTP that is being sent to that one OTP doesn't I I get doesn't get in I don't receive OTP my okay flow is it fails. Again look into that. My username is correct, password is correct, OTP they received I send the OTP okay correctly and or then I got into the system. So. every path whatever i am showing here they are called as a flow and the successful one successful path everything is all right is called a basic flow and all alternatives alternate flow okay we call right so with this understanding okay with this understanding uh, i get into okay that's so flow of events all possible flow that makes a login please okay not down uh, ashish right pick a particular use case pick a particular use case of any product and write write basic and alternative flow write basic and alternate flow in the form of a diagram this is a part pick pick a particular use case of a product and write basic flow and alternative flows for the given use case a part b part describe 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 all possible flows that makes this use case so in this way we will be having a diversions from textbook to other things sir all possible you read it you read from the beginning ashish read it for all possible basic and alternative flows of the given use case or sorry yeah uh, ex uh, explain the basic and alternative flows of a given use case yes sir, that is the answer uh, the second part describe all possible describe all possible flows uh, uh, you can say event flows describe all possible event flows of the given use case of a product of a given use case of a product and represent in the form of diagram
اوكي ابشيك سوري اشيش اوكي نو لوك ات ذات يا بيسك فلو بيسك فلو اولويز سبيك اباوت ذا سكسسفل سيناريو سكسسفل سيناريو ان ذا سينس اوكي اي شون يو نو رايت اوكي يوز اوكي يوزر نيم از كاريكت باسورد از كاريكت او تي بي از كاريكت يو لوجد ان تو this is what is there now how do the people write this use case starts when actor actor in the sense who are is a user of this particular functionality it could be people it could be and their product it could be hardware anybody anything a actor which is to log into the course registration system when they wanted to log into that one system request that the actor enters his or her name and password the actor enters his or her name okay and password here then system validate the entered name and password and logs the actor into the system everything successful so you have to write it and but still okay details are missing what is the okay length of the password right what is the length of the user name how password is to be represented password is to be represented with a star or the hash or question mark or dollar symbol how it should be encrypted you should write it if you do, if you don't say that is you have to mention about that okay there are certain implied one but i say password it has to be encrypted right but still you need to write it right thus now look at the alternative flows are invalid name and password what it should do there are no pre condition post condition look at that post condition in the sense if the use case was successful i mean this functionality is successful login actor is now logged into the system if not system state is unchanged you have to write it and accordingly design will be done so you need to mention clearly every micro level then only things can get into otherwise not got it ashish and all a division student will you appreciate that one how things are to be done i'm taking you people to the industry relevant okay things this is the rational university example used in all industrial training about the rational rules now what example i use i don't know but earlier the product training this is to be used this was to be i mean they used to take this exact example ashish is that okay yes yes yeah that's good that's good so now look at that simple one thing right uh, about requirement specification two line we took this much of time right now you people or we all together have to decide you want a detailed explanation so that you are all right you can write any answer or placement will be good or when you go to the industry then spend some extra time now if you don't want just i'll spend 30 seconds look at that requirement is like this what is given in the book and i proceed then it will be you are you get good marks but you are not trained for the placement or otherwise industry so we are dealing in depth whenever you want depth to be cut you can inform me any time but there will be some extra sessions until everyone start extra classes i'll be taking on every sunday at 10 o'clock right please remember sunday 10 o'clock is my class or you can fix up on saturday i leave it to ashish talk with all people fix it saturday evening or sunday morning in that case according i'll do it now look at that design see just now you saw about okay the uh, requirements login how do i put in the form of a design there are many design aspects flow chart is a one entity relationship model is other things data flow diagrams will be there okay use cases diagrams will be there right there are many things right if we will try to see it it is too early now to talk about that in a design chapter we will get into so once the design is available that is given okay to a, a developer uh, if i if i look at compare with the design with the house construction see on on paper you have got blueprint right where is a kitchen room where is a hall where is a sit out where is a bedroom right okay where is a bathroom right what is the size of that that's a design that document similar to that one you have a software architecture software design right we'll see different things we'll see different things 
ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ಹಲೋ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ನಿಮಿಷ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ನಡೆದು ಎರಡು ನಿಮಿಷ ಹಾಂ ರೀ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ರೈಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಅನ್ಎಡಿಟೆಡ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೇಡ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದೆನ್ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ಅ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಅ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಗ್ ಇನ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಸೆಂಡ್ ಮೀ ಅನ್ ಓ ಟಿ ಪಿ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇಫ್ ಓ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿಟ್ ಮೀ ವಿಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಐ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದರ್ ದರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಅ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ you can call it as an object you can call it as an entity you can call it as an item you can call it as a unit okay that particular unit you need to test and took a this is a unit testing okay when multiple units put together it becomes a, a component component testing when multiple component put together you try to integrate and make a subsystem subsystem testing or integration testing integration is more than one unit more than one component more than one subsystem when you together you okay bind it and check it that one as a it is called integration testing then as a whole system when you check it i told you in the first few classes right verification validation verification is during the process of development from one stage to another stage all things are going fine or not requirement to design is it okay design to implementation implementation next one right okay all these things you check it i mean whatever you do the design is it as per the these things or not then when you go for the validation when a product is ready you got all requirements r1 to r20 r100 all requirements functional non functional requirements are they taken care or not even testing is done to the extent that okay the uh, 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 the particular server should take a maximum capacity of the client okay of 200 at a time okay sorry minimum maximum up to 200 okay it should not have any okay performance issues so you have to create artificially 200 clients getting connected to them and ensure that it goes ensure that it goes right thus so this is about the uh, this now when you talk about the testing there are two types of testing right uh, explain the following alpha testing beta testing and acceptance testing as a developer when i develop something i do within my development team small testing whatever it is a lot of testing will go it's called alpha testing but when i release to my well known customer section of customer who are my friendly customers and all it's called beta testing but is not to the full market and known my friends i release it but outside the development team that then acceptance testing right the every customer they have got defined acceptance testing right simple example which you can see that one right customer himself after the product delivery determine whether to accept or reject the, the delivered product with its their own maybe sometimes it comes as a non functional requirement a product will be accepted provided subjected to these 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 things demonstrated and they will build their own team customers and give all possible input and they tell you that look this working look this not working look this is not the way that is required so you can note down the question theoretical maybe for one mark right uh, explain the following alpha testing beta testing acceptance testing unit testing component testing right then sub system testing integration testing system testing all the things not it then as a part of the maintenance i told you already corrective maintenance adaptive maintenance corrective maintenance in the sense any with a known flaw you release to the product to the market that you develop correct that one release a patch and get it corrected then adaptive maintenance is a one that he wanted certain change and new features and all to be developed already i discussed please go through this so the we uh, stop here today with one of the things list the problems with the waterfall model right so the problems with the waterfall model i'll tell you right it assumes the requirement of a system can be frozen right you cannot freeze the requirements it is a change is continuous that's what it is done for small limited kind of things freezing the requirements usually requires choosing everything in advance but 
Okay, will you give a guarantee that are we so expert that okay platform you will select it and it may show up and that okay after uh, okay ten days people say that one no we wanted to get into the new platform hardware software tools technologies language you select Python as a language and after some time of two months of part of software development team you notice that one something is not feasible you get into uh, change the programming language itself okay thus requirement change. So you may have to go back to the previous stage of your waterfall model, right? Design you do it. When you get into coding again, you may have to go back to the design. Where it is assumed that is a freeze, then you get into the next stage, right? This is all in fact to, to be experienced while doing the projects, right? There's something called, okay, now look at that big bang approach. Here, software is delivered in one shot at the end. But people, though this is a very interesting one that will become input for our next model called iterative model. Okay, people don't have a patience. And one shot you develop it, what happens is that one, okay, there are many lot of internal flaws are not being okay, explored by all stakeholders. You have to release an increment and that will be the input for the next class. Why do we do developing incremental model? Requirements, okay, bloating, right? Right, look at that. Right? Since all requirements must be specified at the start and only what is specified will be delivered. But it is not so. You cannot freeze the requirements. Okay. It is a document driven process. Okay. Uh, and it requires documentation at the end of each phase thoroughly. If anything you omit that one, that it will not be taken absorbed in the next phase. So these are all limitations that you have okay, about this. Got it. So, one of the question not done, uh, uh, list and explain the various uh, problems associated with the waterfall model. And how do you overcome all these things? This is how you do it. Right? Freeze it to first phase, go to the next one. So session is ending in next two, three minutes, right? So we go for iterative model. The iterative model takes care of why iteration? Why you go about that? What benefit customer has? What benefit developer has? How do it overcomes, right? The waterfall model, all the things we look into that, right? In the next class. So today we'll stop here. Uh, before I stop here, okay, let me show you quickly uh, a nice case study we have gone through in this. Everything is being put into that. Okay, every class will be put into that one. Go through that. Unedited videos are being put into that. Okay, please look into that. I'll stop sharing. One minute, you wait. Right. Uh, as many as 58 students have participated today. I wanted all the students to participate and make use of that because listening live is a very important thing, right? And everyone should be on time in their work, right? Okay, uh, now just now one person has joined. Next time what we'll do is, okay, I'll transfer the rights of this to uh, Ashish. He will become a host and he can admit all the people. 59 students participated, right? If you have any doubts and all, anything more details required, you are free to ask. Any number of extra class, any number of detailed discussion, any number of examples, we will give it for anything. So, Ashish, I'm going to stop now, right? Okay, any questions tomorrow, we will, in next class, we'll look into. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. Thank you, right all. Please study, buy the textbook and go through the textbook thoroughly. And I'll put that also in my uh, group, I mean, Google class also. Thank you one and all.